Charles, going to you, uh, this is a completely different direction. What does it mean to wait upon the Lord as opposed to waiting for the Lord? We often have our prayers and attention focused on getting out of a current situation or crisis, a future orientation. Is there something God wants to teach us, something that we may be missing? Interesting, waiting on and waiting for. I think there is a waiting for. Don't expect God to respond immediately to everything that we'd like to see. Now we have to wait for him. And uh, there's a great verse in Isaiah 519 that says, Woe to those who say, let God hurry, let him finish his work, that we may see it. In other words, we want to see what's going on, and so we try to hurry it. And he says, woe to those who do that. So that's a, that's a good thing I'm waiting for. A waiting on is the disposition of trust. It's the abiding. It's the, I mean, what we know to do is to obey what he's given us to do. If we obey what he's given us to do and we trust who he is, we don't have to have a timeline attached to that. Uh, we can just, just uh, patiently wait. And, uh, you know, I mentioned Jeremiah before he preached for 40 years and never had a convert. Uh, three sympathizers, but uh, at the end of his life, you know, he was buried in Egypt and probably felt he was, he had accomplished nothing. Uh, he didn't know he's leaving behind one of the longest books in the Bible that would go on enriching people for generations and generations. We don't know what the long consequences are. So I think we, we obeyed, abide in Christ. We do what he tells us to do. We rest on him and, uh, and, and wait. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm very, very hesitant about setting targets in ministries, uh, certainly number related targets. Now, I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I'm just saying this is personal to me. Other people do different things. When I came to the People's Church, I said I, I would never, would not be comfortable in measuring what we're doing by any number, whether it's money, whether it's people, attendance, whatever it is. Although we did eventually agree after several years to measure the number of people involved in ministry and to see that as a guide as to how effective we were we, we, we were and that was a very good, good. thing to have done but uh, i think uh, you know god takes us by at the end of jesus ministry he left 120 people in the upper room preach for three years that's less than one convert per week we would have written him off as not a very effective evangelist preach to five thousand men once fed them with loads of fishes how many became disciples no. but then peter picked up the consequence of jesus ministry when the holy spirit came three thousand converted in the first day and so on so i think we just have to obey what he tells us trust who he is and wait be patient yeah. and a man in ministry uh, uncle stephen offered who was a great help to me many many years ago uh, said to me when I was just starting ministry, you need to ask God for three things. Patience, more patience, even more <laughs> patience. And uh, then you'll see what God does 